Taking the place of crashing waves and laughter inside restaurants and bars is the humming of emergency response vehicles. What do you feel when you look around? Uh, sickness. Yeah. Loss on Fort Myers Beach is incomprehensible. Finding words to describe how it feels to ride down neighborhood streets is incredibly hard, even harder to understand what the storm surge was like. You see a lot of things on TV and think, oh, it's TV. See in real life. There's people who died down here. There people we know have died because they couldn't get up in the rafters. The guy couldn't pull him up, it's too heavy. He died. We found Steve Griffin and his wife, Diana, riding their bikes down what's left of a sterile boulevard. What do we do now? The hurricane we got, but what do we do now? The first step, search and rescue, finding people alive. We arrived here in Fort Myers Beach Wednesday at 10 p.m. In the first 48 hours, crews found 1,000 people, 200 who wanted off the island right away. Others who decided to stay are now wavering on that decision. After 72 hours, you have no food, you have no water, uh, you have exhausted your supplies, and there is no infrastructure in place. There's no stores open that you're able to replenish it so you can stay on the island. Go ahead. Of course, another part of the mission is finding people who didn't make it. The worst thing is people losing their life. That you can't do anything that's worse than that. The reality is combing through debris on this more than six mile long island is daunting and it's going to take a lot of time. Houses are destroyed, they are leveled. Um, trees are everywhere, cars are everywhere. And many of the homes that are still standing are structurally unsafe. Scott Bain, a heavy equipment and rigging specialist with the South Florida Urban Search and Rescue Task Force 2, says their team is made up of structural engineers that determine the areas safe to search. They're trained in this area that help us make the decision what we can do to actually mitigate that to allow us to either make entry or we say it's a no-go. We can't search a structure because we have to make sure that we're safe enough that we can help others. Griffin and his wife tell me they're going to stay, even though rescue crews say it's best to leave. One thing, we live here. Second, our resources are tied up. We don't have the resources of everybody else. We, we have what we have. This, this is our home. And we're going to stay in our home until they say you physically have to go. Figuring out what comes next won't be easy, but rescue teams say the town must first stabilize a process they're working to accomplish around the clock. Heather Lee reporting in Fort Myers Beach.